Hello, and welcome to the American Library Association's Financial Learning Series. Anyone who's been involved with the association for any length of time understands that ALA is a very diverse and complex organization. This is particularly true in the area of finance, where the interrelationship between all of its units, programs, and activities is very strong. Whether you're a longtime member of the association or you've just joined for the first time, understanding ALA's finances can be very challenging. In an effort to minimize this challenge, as well as to provide those with financial responsibility, and specifically those interested in serving on ALA committees, with a better understanding of ALA's fundamental financial concepts, the Budget Analysis and Review Committee, BARC, has prepared a number of financial-based webcasts called the Financial Learning Series. These webcasts are designed to cover a number of key and basic financial concepts that staff and member leaders deal with on a daily basis in carrying out their responsibilities. Additionally, they will be available for you to access at your convenience and the submission of questions through ALA Connect are strongly encouraged. The topic of discussion for this session is a budget cycle and process, which will be presented by Courtney Young, head librarian at Pennsylvania State Greater Allegheny. And with that, I'd like to turn the discussion over to Courtney. Thank you, Keith. For this session, there are six concepts I will cover. First, the budget's relationship to the strategic plan, the revenue and expense assumptions, the fund structure components, who are the budget stakeholders, the key budget policies, and finally, the ALA budget timeline. There are five general takeaways that you should get from this session. Preparation of the budget is responsive to current economic conditions as well as the strategic plan. The budget supports the association's programmatic priorities as approved by ALA Council. After the budget has been approved, it can be difficult to make additions to the unit until the next fiscal year. The ALA budget is always in development. ALA finance staff continuously monitor the budget and it is reviewed on a regular basis by the ALA Treasurer and the Executive Board. Finally, and most importantly, ALA's financial value proposition is to develop and deploy the financial resources that support the strategic plan and deliver programs responsive to member needs and the improvement of library service. The budget is aligned with the association's strategic plan. These plans cover a five-year period. The budget will also directly support the association's programmatic priorities, which are approved by ALA Council and support the broad institutional strategies. The budget is based on certain revenue and expense assumptions. As you can see, there are a variety of revenue assumptions and expense assumptions at play, including membership numbers, inflation expectations, and the timing and location of conferences. With regards to ALA's fund structure components, these funds make up our total ALA operation. The revenue and expenses in these areas make up who we are financially. The operating fund is where we carry out the mission of the association. The plant fund is for the physical locations of where we do business. Grants and awards also support the association's mission and programmatic priorities. The long-term investments, also known as the endowment fund, support initiatives or special interests of the association, a division, or a roundtable. Here we see an overview of all the ALA, all the stakeholders in ALA's annual budget development. The stakeholders in the broad overview provide the general framework from which each unit's budget will be developed. The staff view takes the general framework provided by the broad overview and begins the process of building a budget that carries out each unit's goals and mission within the broader context of the association's overarching mission. Governance will take the work 
product of the staff view in order to determine if the proposed budgets make economic sense while addressing the overall goals of the unit and the association. As part of its responsibility, ALA Council will on occasion provide to BARC actions or initiatives in the form of referrals that are deemed important to the association. BARC will review these items to determine if there is any financial or budgetary impact and advise accordingly. At every step, there is give and take in order to produce a budget that best meets each unit's goals within the association's overall mission and moves everyone forward. I will mention three key budget policies. The budgetary ceiling is outlined by ALA Handbook Article 9. The use of endowment proceeds is outlined by ALA Policy 8.5.1 and funding from external grants. The budgetary ceiling is a concept that has served the association well over the years. For divisions and roundtables, budget development begins with the ending result of the cumulative net asset balance from the previous year. When combined with the anticipated, i.e. budgeted revenue for the upcoming year, you have the budgetary ceiling. In this example, let's assume the Public Library Association, or PLA, ends the year with a net asset balance of $1.1 million. During the budget development, they expect to generate revenue in fiscal year 2012 of $4.5 million. Taken together, $5.6 million is the budgetary ceiling and will represent the maximum amount that PLA will be authorized to spend during fiscal year 2012. Another key budget policy is related to the use of endowment proceeds. In the preparation of the annual budget, endowment administrators are authorized to include a payout rate of 3% to 5% of the five-year trailing calendar quarterly 20 rolling average of the net asset balance of their respective endowments. This payout, determined by the endowment trustees, is based on current market conditions and the endowment's performance over the previous five quarters. Additionally, the annual payout rate of between 3% and 5% will be reviewed determined and recommended by the ALA Endowment Trustees and the Finance and Audit Committee of the ALA Executive Board with final approval by the ALA Executive Board. Grants provide the financial resources to carry out the many unitized missions across the association. Dollars received with equal dollars will equal dollars expended and provides a level of overhead for administration. This has become a growing and important source of revenue. Finally, we have the ALA budget timeline. The ALA budget calendar runs from September 1st to August 31st. Here are a few points to consider. As mentioned earlier, the budget cycle is a continuously running timeline. There is buy-in at every step and level. All projects and initiatives are critically analyzed by unit staff, member leaders, senior management, and outside eyes with fiduciary authority such as BARC, Finance and Audit, and the Executive Board. While you are developing the upcoming year's budget, you are simultaneously monitoring the current year budget and making adjustments as the economic environment or circumstances dictate. I encourage you to submit any questions you have about this webcast or others via ALA Connect in the Budget and Finance member group. You can view other financial learning series web webcasts as well, the Long-Term Investment Fund, the Operating Agreement, and the organizational structure, roles, and responsibilities. And I also encourage you to visit the ALA Treasurer's website for additional information. Thank you, Courtney. 
This concludes our discussion on the ALA budget cycle and process. We'd like to close the session, as Courtney suggested, by encouraging the viewers of this presentation to complete the survey located on the Treasurer's page. The submission of questions is strongly encouraged. We'd also encourage you to take the opportunity to replay this and other presentations in this series at your convenience and as often as you'd like. Thanks for your participation.